Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to do simple, effective backups with your Asus Store NAS using Asus Store Backup Plan. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're we'll doing a uh, reasonably quick tutorial if you've got yourself one of these little beauties, the Asus Store NAS, pretty much any of them in the range. They all work in a very similar way. This is actually one of the entry level models. I'll put some links for that in the video description so you can check it out for yourselves. Very, very affordable NAS and very, very practical for these little backups or larger backups should you wish to. Very flexible in that regard using the ASUS Store Backup Plan software. So let's head over to the PC now and I'll show you how to set it up on your desktop PC. So first of all, we're making the assumption that your NAS is pretty much essentially set up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add a new person for this particular purpose. So we're going to add a new user and we're going to call it mub test. And just this is a test account. And we'll put in a password. Now we don't need to put an email in for this particular instance. And we don't need to change any of these bottom bits. So just go with that. And we're going to make this uh, an admin rights account just for ease of use. And there we go. There's our mub test account. So we can click finish. So there is our Mub test account. So the next thing to do is to actually get the software onto our PC. And what we want to do is head over to the downloads page for the Asus Store NAS. I'll put some links for this in the video description, but it's essentially asusstore.com forward slash service forward slash downloads. And what we want is for our Windows application, we want to use this. This is Asus Store's backup plan for Windows, usable for Vista 7, 8, 10, 11, Server 2008, 2012, etc. And there is also an additional version there for XP and 2003, should you still be using those. So we're going to click on the Windows download and download this to our Windows desktop. It is a zipped folder, so we're going to need to extract that. So we're going to right click on the folder and extract all and just extract it to its current location. And this will give us our installation folder. So we're going to click on this one and we'll get the user account control, which you probably can't see. Click on yes and just go ahead through the installation process. So you have to agree to the terms and conditions, etc. Find a location which suits you. So we're just going to use the default one and we're going to create a desktop icon. And just to give you an idea of what's going on, it tells you what it needs to do and also any dependencies that is required by the program. So we're going to click on install. You may well get this depending if you've got Microsoft Visual C installed or not. So just let it go through and do what it needs to do. And at the end, you'll get the completing the Asia Store backup plan setup wizard and also the option to launch it now. We want to use it, so let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. This is the main interface. So we've got various options here. So we can create a new backup. We can abort a backup, restore from a backup, remove a backup plan, automatic shutdown. We've got our logs, operation, and there's a beta there for notifications, which will notify either an admin or the user if a backup has failed or has been restored. And in this top corner, we've got our settings cog. Now I would go in there first of all and choose to put a tick in there. So start Asus or backup plan on system startup. That makes sense because then you can get it to kick into gear to actually start your backups on a regular basis if you are planning on a scheduled backup. If you're doing this as a one time, then you don't really need to, but the choice is entirely up to you. Also, we've got the option for supporting multiple ADM accounts and also display network drive. So if you actually want your backup to be visible within your Windows Explorer, then you can choose that. This will mean you have to restart the PC for that to take effect. So we won't actually go through and do that on this particular instance, but you can do should you want to easily map that drive. So once you've done that, click on OK. And the next thing to do is uh, simply just create a backup. So we're going to click on Create, and then we get the option to choose Asus Store NAS. So these are your destinations. So if we want to back up to the NAS, we choose NAS. If we want to back up to our local PC or an FTP site or some other cloud service, you can choose those. But we're going to be backing up to our NAS, so we're going to click on Asus Store NAS, and we can create a new backup plan. Now you can create a ton of different plans for different variations, all that kind of stuff, and you can name it however you want to. I'm just going to stick with Plan One for this particular instance. And the firewall will kick in to say that it needs access, so we're going to allow access. It's going to search your network for your NAS. So there it is, it's picked up our AS1102T, 
and then just give them the IP address. You can if you want to, you can set up the IP address manually should you need to, but it's found ours, so that's fine. So we're gonna click on next. Now we're gonna to need to log in with an actual username. So now we can log in with our test account if we wanted to, or certainly we can use our main account. I'm actually gonna use my main account actually, probably be easier for this particular instance and just put your username and your password in. You can choose if you want to, to connect securely by HTTPS if you've got that enabled. I currently don't, it's just on HTTP on port 8000. Again, if you've changed any of those settings, you can change those here. But once you've got your username and password entered, just click next. Then it will connect to the NAS and we've got some options here. So we've got an option for backup once, so this is a one-time deal. Synchronization, so this will keep the file synchronized on a permanent basis or we can actually schedule a backup. Now, for me personally, I'm gonna schedule a backup because I don't want it synchronizing all the time. I'm quite happy with it just to do a backup on a regular basis. So we're gonna schedule a backup, and then you can choose your frequency, whether it's once, daily, weekly, monthly, or on-program startup. So on-program startup will essentially be daily, but only when you turn your PC on, which kind of makes sense. So I'm just gonna go with daily, and you can choose a start time. So if there's a time where you're not gonna be likely to be using your PC a great deal, and the PC is likely to be on, then you can set it for that appropriate time. So let's say somewhere around midday, lunchtime, generally probably won't be using the PC. And if the file already exists during this backup, we can skip it if it's not been modified. You can choose to overwrite all files in their entirety should you wish to. But for me personally, and for speed, skip if not modified is gonna be more beneficial. You've got an option there for after the plan completes, you can have it to shut down, or shut down if no task is syncing. I'm just gonna leave that to none, leave it as it is. Also, we've got mission mode, so we can click on mission mode and we can enable that or disable it and you can have reconnection attempts. So if for some reason your PC is not connected to the NAS, it can make reconnection attempts. Ours is generally all okay, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Again, if you want to, you can change that. So now we can go on to the next part. So we're gonna be actually selecting what files we wanna do. So on this particular instance, you can if you want to, you can choose the entirety of your C drive. Again, entirely up to you. But for me, actually, all I need to do is to back up my pictures just to make sure they're safe and secure. So we're just gonna choose our pictures. And at this point, you can, if you want to, you can enable filters. So by clicking on this, you can choose filters. So various types of file extensions, you can either choose to omit or include all that kind of stuff. And you can get rid of other things. So if there's other stuff like videos you don't want, you can go through and make all those modifications should you wish to but we're gonna just leave that as it is. Basically, if it's in the pictures folder, I want it backed up regardless of what it is. So now we can choose next. And now we get to choose where it actually backs up to on the NAS. So each individual user has their home account and home folder. So that is the most secure way of doing it. If you want to share your backup with others and share it openly on your WAN, then you can choose public. And again, you can do the same for web or any other folders. You can actually create more folders on the NAS should you wish to, but we're gonna stick with home just to keep it actually all in my own profile. So we're gonna click on finish, and that is essentially it. So the next backup is gonna happen at three o'clock tomorrow, but actually that's not good enough. We want it to happen now. So you just select your schedule or your plan. If you've got a ton of them, just choose the one you want. It'll be highlighted and then click on backup and the backup will start. So that's an easy way of actually triggering the backup if you want to make sure it's done or if you're gonna be making some changes which aren't intended or not gonna be long-term, then you just go ahead, press on that, and it will do the status. If you roll your mouse over the status bar, it will tell you actually what files are being transferred. So you can see there's some image files being transferred across there. And also, if you want to, you can choose the logs so you can see the information. So there, plan one backup has started. And obviously, we created a plan already. So lots of information there, and you can, if you want to, you can just clear the log files if you don't need them. But yep, that is essentially it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait for this to back up. Now my photos folder is somewhere in the region of about 20 gigabytes. So this is gonna take a little while. So we're gonna break off now and we'll come back shortly when it's completed. Right, okay, so the backup is done. Uh, it did take a little while because it is the first time these files have been backed up. Subsequent backups will take uh, considerably less time. So in fact, actually, if we click on backup now, It'll scan and it'll just double check the files are all okay. And it should just zip through to 100% because we've made no changes and none of the files have changes, that sort of stuff. So yep, based on the speed of the access, some of those files will still be indexing as well. 
but yeah, there we go. There's another backup done completed. So we're all happy that that's done. So what we can do now is we can actually view those files. So we can go into our file explorer and you go into your home drive, ASUS store, the computer name, drive C, users, and then it's going to show us our pictures. And there you go, that is all of our pictures, all nicely backed up. So we go into the cars folder and oh, there's an unusual file there, it's an MP4, I'm not sure what that is. So let's take a quick look and see what that is. Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews yeah, and How To, video. and today we're going to take a look at the comic Of course, obviously you can stream footage the, from your, uh, your NAS as well also. So, anyway, the camera... No, that's enough of that. So that is all of our files, all nicely backed up in File Explorer. And obviously you can create as many backup types or sets as you like. I think it's, there is a maximum amount, but it's uh, something in the region of about 50 or so. So obviously, yeah, you can make up as many backups as you need to. Now, if you want to actually uh, restore anything, you can go into back into Asia Store Backup Plan and you can go into Restore. Obviously, select the plan you want to restore and you can either directly restore the backup, that's the entire backup will be restored. So if you've deleted your entire backup or you can just restore parts of the backup so you can select which parts you actually want. So you can go through and choose which files you actually want. Go through, choose individual folders or multiple folders, all that kind of stuff, however you want to do it. So again, that'll just restore it back to its original place on the drive. This is going to be limited by essentially the amount of space you have on your NAS. So obviously do keep an eye on that. If you look in your performance section in storage manager, you can see how much free space you've got and all that kind of good stuff. But hopefully that is a good instruction of how the Asus Store backup plan actually works. So there we go. Hopefully that's given you a little bit of thought or a new way that you can actually back up your files on your PC. Again, you can back up the whole drive if you want to. You could do individual folders if there's a specific folder you do want things backed up to. But I think Asus Store, the backup plan software, is actually a really good addition and can be used on Windows PC and hopefully it will be available on other platforms very soon. But anyway, if you've got any comments or questions about this one, please let us know in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.